Hi, it's Sue with Get Sold, and I'm doing a big revamp on my little studio office here. But I figured while I was moving stuff around, I might show you um, some of my fabrics and actually how they actually look, um, like in person instead of like on a website. So I'll show you one of my fa favorites. Okay, hold on, I gotta get this turned around. Okay, so this is, uh, these are diff from different collections, but this one was a Crazy Botanical Challenge. I did get a mention on Spoonflower, so I was relaying them out because they're kind of a mess right now. Sometimes the head gets a little too busy. These are some of my classics. Um, these are tea towels, actually, tea towels. I do, I love the shabby, so I've done quite a few in... The shabby. The darker one was for another project, but these are these are actually. I'll tell you what. These are actually roses from a bistro set that I painted many years ago. Now I can show you a picture of that. This rose. Sorry, this light's kind of in the way. Ta da! So there, yeah, that's better. That's got my initials in the background of it. So S R. The background of that one that's the hutch rose this is the hutch rose without the sr and these are different variations that were achieved this was actually for a sheet set and then here's the one really nice over here i can show that after and so this was part of the bistro set right here this little card i made um the back of the chairs I photographed. That was another bistro set I did. This is also a card I made from the same Hutch Rose collection. This is one of my photographs because I do photos too. And way back there is a card I made. That's my daughter on it in Thailand. Tear sheet more or less of what I was doing with the fabric for an antique look for shabby chic look. And this is my beautiful puppy soul that I did a collection for and this is on actually on the uh, threadless website this was a bag that I did I was prototyping a bag to see how I liked it and I brought it with me <laughs> got a lot of comments on it in the uh, airport and stuff when I took it on my trip and there's Sully again this is the um just a black and white of the Paris butterflies in Paris I want to go over to this collection here. I'm going to turn the light around. This is one of my favorites. This is still the Hutch Rose, but I tell you what, the different fabrics are amazing. This is a sheer fabric. Oh, I just love it. What I saw for this was I like doing costumes, and a friend of mine does a lot of um, uh, steampunk stuff, and I said, oh, I would love, this is a, uh, like a velveteen type type of fabric very heavyweight oh no okay you can kind of see the back and then the front is a fuzzy beautiful fuzzy and then this is a satin of the same fabric satin then this is a different print altogether this was a, a yoga uh, fitness set I was working on for my daughter um, this goes back to the print we were just talking this is actually a tea towel so very this is how they print it um whoever spoonflower uses okay so it's very hearty and this is a this is a piece of it here this is the same hutch rose okay this is what was painted on a dresser in my old shop that i painted on a dresser not to sell in my shop but to use as a um display and people kept wanting to buy it and I said well you know at the time I was just learning spoon flower so this is the denim and it's just so hearty it's like really beautiful I know it's hard to sorry my hands are artist hands and uh this is one of my favorite 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 fabrics oh my goodness it's a stretchy sport lycra and this would be great for um like a wraparound dress or again if you could see your way to some you know vintage looking uh workout wear but i was thinking more in terms of a um, form fitting because 
for, for fuller figured people because this works really well. Um, that's me. Okay, and then this one again is a, it's another version of a shear. They make different shears and it is just beautiful. So what I was going to do with that was to actually do a lingerie type of thing, okay, with this one. I don't know if you can see it too well, but oh, love that. Love this. This is my favorite, um, the Sport Lycra. Um, let me see. I will stop for a minute and show you another one. This is what my one of my earlier this is when I said with the SR um, behind it and it's I call it Hutch Rose ribbon but I just I really love this like you know you can design something you like or you love or you just kind of go well maybe it's not my thing but you know somebody else might like it like, okay so I apologize this is a little wrinkly I need to get it ironed out and just refold it but this is what I was going to do a sheet set in okay because I have um one room was a uh, yellowish, I won't say mustardy color because that sounds kind of ew, but I wanted to do, and I did do, um, some fabric for sheets and then a um, uh, cover, you know, to put over a blanket, the uh, duvet. This is something uh, I went out on a limb with because I'm not color. I like white, I like black, I like gray, I like whatever, but this this is for the shabby collection okay I'm gonna show you something else so this is not styled correctly right now because I'm just kind of doing a walkthrough and thinking okay what do I need to change up and I was trying out different curtains this is a curtain that they manufacture they produce and it's in this fabric it's very heavy um, it's not really what I wanted for the shabby chic kind of you know lady room kind of thing it's pretty heavy this is by con in comparison just the fabric just the the regular cotton fabric and then I just kind of like did a little decor up there this is my mother's little doll and this is a blanket that I made in the same hutch rose very soft and I actually did a this has nothing to do with my prints but I actually did a print of this <laughs> that worked out really well so this is um these are the different combinations I wanted to see if I liked or not. This is the really velvety, beautiful stuff. So I actually did, now it's almost like a limey green color. These are actually professional pillows that they make at Spoonflower, all right? Again, they need to be ironed every now and again. This is my little napping place. So then I had made coordinating um, background colors. Now what I do still need to do, I'm not, I don't necessarily need it for myself, but I do know that creating patterns, you kind of want stripes and you want ginghams and you want, you know, something else to coordinate with. So large print, small print. So I have not, I'm working on a few things, but I haven't finished them yet. This is a very soft, 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 oh, beautifully soft. Um, Hutch Rose, very light pink as opposed to this darker shade this was kind of the signature shade everything was kind of turning out to be so I kind of just matched it with that but um it can go lighter and this was a different manufacturer this blanket here was a different manufacturer and these were just some fun little things that I did with my fabric at one time Spoonflower did have um, wrapping paper but sometimes I would just use um, I would just use the wallpaper that I created and what else do we have here so here's also the bottom fabric matching I just did a little cut out here of the wallpaper to make like a oops to make like a um, decal this was for a costume that I did so I just threw it up on there this is what the wallpaper looks like. I have two different um, patterns of it. So one goes in diagonal and the other goes in this sort of squarish pattern. And then this is the, uh, not this box, but this is a box that I did in the wallpaper.
because I needed it to be substantial. So there's some like meds in there, old stuff. I gotta clear out, but that's that's the wallpaper on a box. So when you have junk that you wanna hide, I don't even know what that stuff is, then that makes a nice uh, wrapped up box. This little skirt actually went on a vanity um, that I have in another location. And I just wanted to use it in here just to show another variations. This was made by Ginger at our old shop. And yeah, I really gotta iron that. But like I said, this is informal. This is not like uh, just not a uh, showroom here, but just kind of as I'm going around going, okay, I gotta redo this, I gotta redo that. But I did paint the walls white years ago this is was my dad's house and i originally picked out the colors for it back in the 90s which is kind of um this color here this color here well i don't really even know if you can see it but anyways it's still relevant today it's kind of a off-white more on the peach side than a tan but uh, in a tan but so anyways those are mom's dolls Still got to find a home for them. So this is my quaint little room. This was to showcase some of the uh, patterns, but by no means it's not showroom perfect right now. It's not showroom pretty. So, oh yeah. This was um, a rose that I'd cut out. I was actually making a rug for the middle here. So that's what these roses were going to be for. So I did those differently. Um, it's fabric that you run through a printer. And then you can attach it to something. But that's the actual painted rose. It didn't do that bad blowing it up. You know, like it didn't lose that much. And then this was the just coordinating. I love this little old table. They did this way back when the um, crackling. Way back when. All right. One last little buzz around. To just again, like somebody just took a nap and woke up. <laughs> Oh, I, need to take a light. I actually had an authentic bed in here before, but I wound up using it for my gazebo. So I had a huge bed in here that was a real vintage bed. So this one's actually a little smaller than I wanted, but I needed it at the time to lay everything out and see where I needed to make changes. So that's really what this is about, is seeing, um, seeing the prints all together and then kind of going, okay, what do I need to incorporate? But for me and my brain, I kind of like need to see it to see it outright, so yeah, I haven't even started my spring cleanup yet. All right then. Please check out my Sue Reed at threadless.com and my Sue Reed designs at Spoonflower. Thank you.